Hey, what's up everyone? So this is going to be the 74th opening that i like to share with you, which is the Felt Bork opening. So um, the Felt Bork opening is basically like a kind of a rare opening uh, against the diagonal variation. So it tends to surprise your opponent. It's relatively easy to play. So that's the benefits of it. Um, the cons or the disadvantage of this is that you kind of reduce your advantage or you kind of give up a slight lead. Um, and at the same time, it's fairly intuitive for white to follow up. So if you really want to play it, you have to go deep in book, uh, like many other similar openings. So let's just run through the sequence. So the sequence starts off with f5, f6, basically the diagonal, and then the typical run up to uh, essentially the sailboat over here. So up to this point, uh, it's leading up to the sailboat, but instead of playing the normal sailboat uh, opening, like f3 as the best move, you play a variation to d7. It's kind of like a perpendicular uh, to where your opponent has just gone to horizontally. You're just going the vertical cut, just taking one disc off the edge. So over here, it's fairly easy for white to kind of derive the, the better moves over here. Basically, it's just jumping into the center, cutting it across. And then all you have to do is either you maintain the center, you keep to the edge, or you take your edge. Um, so the typical kind of response you would expect is this for black to play c7. And then it becomes fairly easy for white to just jump into this quiet move, intersecting one disc right into the center of the mass of discs. So this is quite easy for white to get. So it's fairly intuitive for white to be able to get it. And then of course for you, it's also very easy because it's just kind of like a crisscross uh, fight for the center. So over here, white has a few options. Typical C3 or F3. I think F3 would probably be slightly more popular. And then basically you just fill up the last square within the box region, or you could play either E2 or E7. But I think c3 would be the most common kind of uh, variation and then over here it's fairly easy for white to kind of derive d2 or either b4 uh, to kind of create a point disc to point back to e7 for the regroup so yeah for black either you block it first or the typical kind of cut back into the center this way and then of course white would then crisscross over here to e7, like earlier I mentioned, b4 would be the point disc for white to kind of return back to e7 as a regroup. At the same time, white controls this mini diagonal between c5 and e3. So over here, um, I think it becomes fairly intuitive for white to play, and then you realize that the best move is actually harder for you to play. So I think in general, I don't really see that many people playing a felt block uh, variation as black against perhaps a white diagonal to cow opening. So I think um, it's something like a rare opening. So if you really want to use it to your advantage, you probably want to um, study it deeply before you actually employ it. If not, it's fairly intuitive for the first couple of moves for white to play. You won't really get an advantage there. So I would recommend this for intermediate players and above to just kind of try it out. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave your comments down below on this opening. And thank you very much for joining me in this episode, and I'll see you at the next one. Goodbye.